They don't deserve to have that possible future. They don't deserve that. What is the future of the horses that pull the carriages downtown? The city is asking you what you think in a survey that's closing soon. Yeah, tonight our Yami Verheen investigates the proposals for a ban that's on the table and where those horses could end up. Good morning, Dee Dee. I've got an apple for you. Some American dreams look like this. <laughs> a quiet ranch in South Bear County with beauties like Zeus. He was a rescue. And 18 other horses. So we've got Zeus, London, Andy, Big Dog, King, Doc, Jedi. We've got Blackjack JD, Snowman. From Clydesdales to Belgians. I'm in the house and if the weather and the wind and the breeze, they'll just start running and it's like thunder. It's like amazing. Hi, sweetheart. For Stephanie Garcia, retired police officer from Britain, owning these horses and two carriage companies is her American dream. We want to work together. A dream that may soon end, depending on a citywide survey and the decision of the San Antonio City Council. Come on. Many of the horses here, Garcia rescued from Amish farms. They are very much my children. They are very much family members. Each one of them has a story. He came with his brother, Jack, Black Jack, who's over there. Some rescued and some she bought. I saw the photographs of him, fell in love and brought him home, him and his brother. People don't realize that these horses are draft horses. They're bred to work. But some say these horses should not be out working the streets of downtown San Antonio in the Texas heat. So the question of banning the horse-drawn carriages, which has been going on for two years, is now with the citizens of San Antonio to share their opinion before the transportation. The city survey, which closes August 13th, asked those who live in San Antonio whether they had been on a horse-drawn carriage and if they wanted them to be phased out or moved outside of the downtown area. Since this push to end horse-drawn carriages started two years ago, one of the co-sponsors, District 3 Councilwoman Phyllis Villagran, has dropped her support to the ban. Her co-sponsor, District 2 Councilman Jayla McKee Rodriguez, sent us this statement. We're collecting survey data from residents and we look forward to the next transportation committee meeting on August 19th. Dr. Benjamin Espy, the equine vet hired by the city who helped write the current ordinance, echoes Garcia's beliefs. You know, these horses are bred to work. Uh, they're bred to pull heavy objects um, ever since they were introduced to the United States um, from Europe. You know, back in the 1800s, um, their only goal and only job here in the continental U.S. is to pull, whether that's in the Amish community, um, pulling farm implements, or whether that's on a city street. Dr. Espy says that horses like Zeus a Clydesdale are doing what they're mentally designed to do and what they're physically suitable to do. The uh, protocols that we have in place here in the city or really in any major U.S. city um, takes into account um, it's a very simple and relatively easy life compared to some of the draft horses in the U.S. The city charter prohibits operators from using horses when it's over 95 degrees and when the air quality is poor. Councilman Manny Pelais tells us he is eager to see the results of the survey. Councilwoman Melissa Cabello Havdra says she wants to hear from the public and from another vet before she decides. The concern is not so much what the horses are doing when they're at home, it's when they're working and how they're on the, the pavement in this heat. And I know there's a pretty extensive ordinance, but they're not, it's not always being followed. So what we see are traffic condition uh, problems. We see, uh, you know, we worry about the, the welfare of the horses while they're working as opposed to where they live. But I am very happy to go see it and I have, I have that scheduled. The councilwoman tells us private companies have offered to give businesses electric carriages and that there could be funds to care for the animals if the ban goes through. A lot of these uh, horse carriage companies have said to us at our transportation committee meeting that if they're, if they're not able to keep the horse-drawn carriage business up, that they were going to uh, put the horses uh, to sleep. And I, I mean, I think that's a little bit harsh considering they, they say that they love their horses. You think it's a bit unjust for the city? 
Yeah. I mean, they would basically be sending them to a death sentence. Yeah. Garcia says she would never choose to euthanize the horses she saved. So for now, this possible van has been tabled. We'll keep following the story to see what ends up happening to these horses. Jami Virgen, Fox SA. They are certainly beautiful creatures. The city survey on a ban on horse carriages downtown closes August 13th. We have a link to it. Just head online to your website, foxsanantonio.com. Thank you for watching. Click like and subscribe to Fox SA for all your latest headlines.